So what do you like to do? Shopping, hiking, the theater, museums, kayaking, disc golf, thrifting, historical walks, antiquing, eating, craft breweries. There's all of this in Cambridge, Ontario. One hour from Toronto, off the 401. Saturdays are the best to visit since almost all the stores and businesses are open. Come in and see our historic downtown core. I've made episodes of historic walks of all these areas. You can find them here. Your best parking is at 15 Wellington Street. From here, it's only steps to our almost 200-year-old farmer's market. It starts Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. and goes until 1 p.m. But on the walk down to 40 Dixon Street, you'll be passing by the free Fire Hall Museum, open until 1 p.m. They'll be happy to take you on the full tour, which is about 45 minutes, or you can just go in and browse the vintage fire truck, ring the fire bell, and check out all the displays. We have three other museums in Cambridge, including the Fashion History Museum in the Hustler section, all worth checking out. Across the street from the fire hall is one of the many pieces of outdoor art. This is the founders of Galt Cambridge, William Dixon and Absalon Shade. But if you continue down the alley, you'll see more great murals and wall art that's throughout Cambridge. We have about 15 pieces of outdoor art in the core. Some are easy to spot and some are tucked away. Down the next alleyway, you'll find this stunning piece. Want to know more about Cambridge? Subscribe and like so I'll know to make more videos. At the corner of Dixon and Ainsley, you'll see to your right Reed's considered one of the best chocolate shops in Canada. If you continue walking to your right, you'll come to the back entrance of Southworks Antique Mall, Canada's largest and oldest indoor antique mall. There's amazing treasures in here. Walking in the other direction, you'll be headed to Main Street. Make sure you pop into the numerous great independent stores on the way. But before you go down Main Street, keep going straight on Ainsley to see the armory with its light armored vehicle monument. It's beside the Art of Home, where you can take a great photo with this other piece of outdoor wall art. 20 foot wide goose wings on the side of the building. If you're ready for a cup of coffee, across the street on Ainsley is Monogram's Coffee. They take their coffee very seriously, freshly roasted in their own signature brands. On Main Street, you can admire the stone buildings that have been here since 1863 and the other beautiful buildings built in the 1800s. We even have a store that's been in the same family in the same spot for over 120 years. If you continue walking down Main Street, you'll cross the iconic Main Street Bridge over the Grand River. This is one of the rivers that made Cambridge and is considered a heritage river. Feel like launching your kayak and taking a paddle through the heart of the city? There's a launch area accessible from the parking lot at 50 Water Street North. The river will take you all the way to Paris, Ontario, or you can take 45 minutes to paddle down the river just past the pedestrian bridge and back again. But don't cross the small dam as it can be difficult to turn around and come back up river. For a longer kayak, you can start at Blair and end at River Bluffs Park, just before the core. Check the water levels at GRCA River Flow chart listed in the description below. Still want to be active? We have hiking trails throughout the city, most accessible year-round, and I've made videos about several of them. We have 10 golf courses for you to try. We have two disc golf courses, one at Supper Park at 120 Shade Street, and the second one at Four Fathers Brewery, 125 Gulf Avenue. Crossing the Main Street Bridge, you'll see the Centennial Fountain that will have water on until the weather turns cold. Standing by the fountain, you can look around and see the three famous churches of Cambridge, Knox Presbyterian, now Grace Church, Central Church, and Trinity Anglican, the first stone church in the region. The red building down Melville Street is now Waterloo School of Architecture, and if you follow this little street, you will cross the parking lot and come to both the start of Absalon's Walk and to where the Gulf Horticultural is with its volunteer attended gardens. Absalon's Walk incorporates the sculpture gardens that has works on both sides of the walk. Walk along to Craig's Crossing Pedestrian Bridge with great views up and down the Grand River. But I have another amazing view for you to see. As you walk back towards Main Street on Water Street, you'll be passing the stunning old post office library. Go inside and up to the second floor via the elevator and step out onto the balcony and enjoy the view. In the evenings after dark, this building comes to life with a digital lights show. You've passed by dozens of restaurants as you walk the core, and if you're hungry, now's the chance to try everything from Thai to fish and chips to pub fare, and we have new restaurants opening soon. If you're not finished yet, there's the stunning historical district of Dixon Hill, where the rich built their mansions. I featured it on this video here. If you're interested in history, you can walk over to the Mount View Cemetery at 80 Blenheim Road to admire the beautiful stonework of the master carvers. If you love treasure shopping and want to visit our thrift stores, check out my video on them and also my video on best bargain stores in Cambridge. There are great treasures to be found here. Cambridge is an easy city to drive around. We have three cores with great shopping in all of them. Looking for something to do in the evenings? Check if there's anything running in our theatres. We have three theatre companies in downtown Cambridge. This fall there's a range of comedies and musicals that are on show. We have nine great craft breweries. Some, like Rhythm and Brews, have live entertainment. 
This is a tiny taste of what's available on Cambridge. One hour away from Toronto, amazing Cambridge, Ontario.